Hey Scorpio, it's Nicola. So this is your weekly read for October the 6th through the 12th. What messages do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for October the 6th through October the 12th, 2019. What messages do we have for Scorpio, Sun? All right, Scorpio. We got two. Okay, then. So I feel like some of you guys have activated some past life situations, some divine talents. Ooh, all right, then. <clears throat> The past life activation here, let's read what we have for that. Y'all, I am I have a slight um cold for my children, so don't mind me. It says you have the talents within that have been developed through many lifetimes. I mean through varied life experiences. You have had many lifetimes already, even if you don't recall them consciously, helping you evolve and grow into the loving being that you are today. Okay. You desire to grow in consciousness and spiritual power. To assist the divine plan unfolding throughout the universe is heard and supported by the spiritual world in all ways. To this end, past life material is being activated now for your benefit and the greater good. So let's see what we have with divine talents. Let me make sure I get it to where y'all can see it. I feel like I might need to turn the white balance down on my um, thing because I want you to be able to see these cards. Okay, so you can see them pretty good. That's good. Or I can see them pretty good. <laughs> <coughs> told you all right it says you are a talented soul over many lifetimes you have developed your spiritual abilities to channel higher awareness attract healing energy and radiate light to uplift the consciousness of those around you your divine talents are many and uniquely expressed through you your talents do not have do not have to resemble those of another to have their own inestimable value do not be afraid to use them now to use them now I wasn't on the end of that so I feel like some of you guys have activated some past life, um, you know, uh, talents. And some of you guys could be hesitant about, you know, being true to who you are. Man, you better be yourself. You can't be yourself. Who the hell else you going to be? Okay. All right. So let's see what messages we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for October the 6th through October the 12th, 2019. What messages, what guidance do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? October the 6th through October the 12th, 2019. Messages guided for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for October the 6th through October the 12th, 2019. What messages do we have for October the 6th, October the 7th, October the 8th, October the 9th, October the 10th, October the 11th, and October the 12th of 2019 for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Y'all, these cards are still so stiff. I've been using them for about two weeks now. I like them. I really like them now. I didn't, I wasn't sure about them at first, but I really like them now. But they're so stiff. And I kind of like that with cards, but I still want to be able to move them. So Ace of Pentacles here, underlying energy. I feel like you're going into a whole new life. You see how the Ace of Pentacles look like a sun? You have been granted a new gateway, a new life. Um, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new life. Y'all happy, huh? All right, so whatever this new opportunity is, is going to make you happy. So I got all these stands. Let me see if I can use one. There we go. Y'all can see that. All right, so let's see what we got. God dang it. Get together. Okay, so for Sunday, we have the three of wands here. So I feel like you could be establishing your strength. You could be manifesting some new things coming in. I feel like some ships could be coming in. You've had patience, or maybe you're at the point of needing to have patience on this new life. Monday, we have the nine of pentacles here. So I feel like whatever seeds you have sown have come into fruition. You're in a space of really being abundant, really being secure in your abundance. You could also be independently manifesting some new things. Tuesday, Hierophant here. So this could be about a relationship, could be dealing with a Taurus. This could be about a job. There is something here that is requiring either your prior knowledge or you to have to use the faith that you have. This is about knowledge, if you guys are unaware. This is wisdom. So five of cups here for Wednesday. Yeah, I have to make sure I get that right. Five of cups here for Wednesday. I feel like there could be some disappointment here. Um, you could be going through a wave of emotions here in regards to some offers. Um, I feel like there could be some regret in regards to a relationship. Some of you guys could have gained your independence from a relationship and dealing with some regrets. All right. So Thursday, <laughs> is that right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Thursday, we have the page of swords here. So I feel like there could be some challenging information that you're dealing with that could have caused some regret, or you could be regretting this information or being at a delay. 
what do we have for Friday? We have Ten of Swords here. So I feel like the delay is over now. Ten of Swords does represent the end of a difficult situation. Even though she's laid out like she's dead, she is not, okay? Um, she has survived, and I, I say he, this could be, I mean, I say she, but this could legit be blood. I assumed it was hair. But the Ten of Swords does represent the end of difficulties. Um, there's no, no more, you, there's no more that you can take from whatever situation we're dealing with. Do my kids have the water on outside? Okay, anyway, <laughs> so Saturday, temperance here, divine timing at play here. This could be also needed to bring balance to your mentals, to your uh, emotions. I feel like you have an opportunity here because you're laying down a burden, and that could be the ten of swords, the embracing that something. You see all those fucking wands and swords? Some of y'all have been through fucking battle. I'm sorry, I'm cussing, so maybe this is your, I haven't been really cursing like that, but maybe this is your energy, like I've survived this, I've survived this shit. So I'm going to move forward here. Divine time and at play here. Things are happening for a reason. For a reason. <laughs> reason. <laughs> it's happening for a reason. I'm just put fate. Whatever this is, it's fate. It's happening for a reason. So three of wands here. I feel like you've had a lot of patience here. Ace of wands here. I do feel like there's an opportunity here. Ace plus is three. That's four ones here. I feel like there's an opportunity for stability, um, for some plans that you've made to come into fruition. Okay. Fortition, however the fuck you say it. Full energy here. I feel like there could be a leap of faith that is being taken. Star energy here could be dealing with an Aquarius. But I feel like here, someone is hoping that they can heal a situation. They've had patience. And I feel like there's a situation that could be healing. Nine of Pentacles here. Um, this could be you. This could be someone that is single. Queen of Wands here. Okay, so someone is making a decision to really move forward here. I feel like someone's speaking their truth. So someone is, this is about confidence. This could be you feeling very confident about doing what is right for you, speaking your truth and really asserting yourself Monday. So this could be dealing with your job. You may be asserting yourself. You may be speaking out. Um, there could have been some confusion. This could also be with a, a relationship or a friendship, whatever the case may be. You're very confident about speaking your truth, about doing what is right for you and creating balance. Um, within whatever situations you've been dealing with, with, a, with whatever that has been either delaying you or challenging you. So with the Hierophant here for Tuesday, <clears throat> why is this Hierophant here for Tuesday? Y'all, I'm so sorry my voice sounds like this. This is ridiculous. Why is this Hierophant here for Tuesday? Why is this Hierophant here? All right, so we have the Magician here with the Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like you feel like you've been manipulated. You've been waiting either for something stable or you've been patient in a relationship here. Um, I feel like you feel like it's time for you to take action. Planting some seeds moving forward. Tower here. I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be releasing a relationship and this is where the regret is. The regret could either be that you've been at a delay with the situation or you're just dealing with the you know, the effects of this situation ending. All right, so five of cups here. Why is this five of cups here? <clears throat> but I feel like for some of you guys, and I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like the relationship or the job or whatever that you have dealt with was a burden. So you were manifesting something that was lighter in energy that was balanced in your life so if you had something that wasn't balanced understand when you manifest balance whatever that is in balance will be either removed or it will be shown to you so for some of you guys five of cups here you could have been in a third party here with someone could have been with a, a capricorn here um this could also represent maybe friendship maybe there's a friendship that is being let go of because i got eight cups here somebody's walking away here really seeing their value there may have been some fear or someone's walking away from a situation that was in low vibration that may have been toxic may have been codependent okay something that was delaying them with the page of swords i feel like someone here is moving toward happiness allowing their concerns to fade away with imbalanced situations why is this page of swords here why is this Page of Swords? All right. So, yes, I feel like whatever you were dealing with, Page of Swords represents a, a delay. I feel like it was delaying you toward happiness. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups here. I feel like for some of you guys, you had to lay down the burdens with this Ten of Wands in reverse and get out of being interfered so that you can get out of confusion and move forward. Knight of Swords. Some of y'all, Ten Swords here, Ten Swords here, Ten Swords here. Y'all had to lay the burdens down of... Um, a difficult situation in order for you to move forward. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Why is this Ten of Swords here? 
Why is this Ten of Swords? All right. So we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles here. Some of you guys were cooperating with the situation, holding on to a situation that was keeping you at a delay. There's Seven Pentacles here and keeping you in balance, either within your money or within yourself. Some of you guys have to embrace that this is over with. You are holding on to a codependent, imbalanced as fucked up situation. I am sorry, but there is Ten Pentacles here. So this is over. Ten Pentacles here, Ten Swords here. This relationship, this job, this companionship, this friendship, this part of your life there where you were just holding on trying to keep things balanced in a situation where you were doing this for either by yourself or or for someone else you're just over that now you're moving toward ace of pentacles ace of pentacles a new opportunity here you're in balance and still holding on to the situation you need to embrace that the situation is over so that you can bring balance to your life divine timing is here so why is some here I feel like the angels are working in your favor, and I feel like I'm going to put that in here. Because I feel like you've been in the space of trying in your favor, of trying to keep something together that was not beneficial to you, that was not balanced in your life. I feel like you're being balanced out, but you are going to have to lay some burdens down and embrace the end of some difficulties, period. You're going to have to allow your concerns to fade away so you can get out of this space of being of either feeling energetically attacked or actually being attacked. So with temperance here and the sun card here, it's time for balance. It's time for things to balance out. Divine timing is here. Yes, sun. Ace of Cups, new opportunity here. I feel like there's a new opportunity here that you may have missed previously. So this can even be an X coming around. Aries energy here. This can be an X coming around um, that maybe you were at a stalemate with before. And now, Seven of Swords, I feel like you're escaping that stalemate here, really releasing the conflicts underneath all that. Divine timing is at play. All right, so let's see what messages we have moving forward. <clears throat> what messages do we have moving forward for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have moving forward for Scorpio? All right, so we have Shaman, Ancient Healing Wisdom. We have Blessings under here. So I feel like some of you guys are going to be blessed once you purify yourself and free yourself, breach. Once you purify yourself and you free yourself from this situation, you are going to have blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings. All right. So this is all I got, y'all. Until next time. Peace.